Hello and welcome. Looks like we're gonna try and just scream, scream. We're going to stream some gauntlet. We'll see what really happens here. I got some kombucha citrus hops flavor. Looks delicious. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of see what's happening. I have a pretty sweet macro set up here on my um, on my pewter. Let's see, we're going to go into Spotify over here and get some good dubstep stuff going on. Get some Skrillex radio popping. Because so I feel like, you know what? I deserve it. I'm that cool. Okay. I like to play as the wizard. I'm going to go on... Yeah, normal. I usually die, so we'll see kind of what happens here. But yeah, the wizard I think is really fun because of all the different variations that you can do with the um, with all of his different weapons and or his different spells. Makes me actually feel like I'm spell casting. That's kind of a fun thing. I guess I don't have to wear these anymore. Uh, but yeah, here I am. Sounds like we have a really sweet background of um, the landscaping crew outside. <laughs> oh, so that's why they call it the gauntlet. Find the three lost shards of Tiffing and bring them to me. And I will grant you power and other things. No one has gotten all the shards. I don't expect you'll make it, but go on. Amuse me. Hmm, this doesn't seem like a very good quest to go on. But, we'll try it out. The Tombs of the Risen. There we go, so we got all of our spells going here. Get the gold! This always seems like it's one of the more tedious aspects of dungeon crawlers. It's just collecting all the goodies. What's worse is after you collect them but you die, and then you have to go back and do the whole level again. Like. I don't know. I feel like it's fine to... Oh, my fingers are not good. They always press all the other buttons. Ice be unto you! Or I should say, ice to meet you? I get the turkey anyway. Death from above! Today does not pay to be a zombie. Some call it cheap shots, I just call it, eh, I don't know, death from above. I feel like Gauntlet is one of those games that I, f yeah, I feel like a f you can play it with a friend, you can play it by yourself, but it's way better with a friend. <laughs> Let's just be honest here, because of all the teamwork aspects of things, because of the sheer amount of enemies that one faces, uh, especially when playing someone like the Wizard. I feel like they do have a lot of skills. Oh, come on. But, um, when it comes down to it, people just end up murlating me. Maybe it's just because I'm not that good. But that's the thing. You don't have to be good at video games to like them. Oops. Yeah, so a few of my macros I have set up to just auto-run. Basically, it, it switches the spell 
and then it also does the, um... Oop, I could have eaten that food! It automatically does, does the spell and then triggers left click, um, so that when I'm in those sticky situations and need to just get out of there or need to tase somebody like that, it just does it for me. That's kind of nice. Like this one I have set up to just do it for me. Let's get the bad guys away from you for at least a little while. Or this one gets me out of the way quickly. Oh, he's not dead yet? Let's see, let's get this going. Get through here, get some space. I think we just need some space. Uh, cast that, get some room. I need to switch up my spells more often. I tend to just do a couple, so that's basically what this is, is getting getting better at switching up my spells in the right order, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll see what's in here. I don't remember this from previous levels. Oh, that was a waste of a key. That was silly. The wizard needs food badly! You know, I would like to oblige Wizzy, but... Um, I guess I'll, maybe that's where they got their name. They're, they're wizened old fools, or, you know, wizard old fools, whatever your kind of interpretation of the etymology of that could be. Um, bye! Oh, let's see, that's just me not being good at video games. Then I like to do this and just ice them out. I guess the key is to remain mobile. Get in, get out, get on with it. I feel like I need a catchphrase too. That's the way a wizard does it! I guess that could work. Oh hey, there's more goodies over here. We like them goodies. I think there's some interesting things about design that, um, like for instance here, you it gives you another barrel. So you know that there's something that's required. I'm assuming that I have to go in here or they really want me to get this something. Um, Whereas other levels, it won't give you barrels unless you... Like, it's just it's just nice to be able to go and get the extra goodies, but... Yeah, it's interesting that here they didn't require me to go through there sometimes. Um, when you get those extra barrels, that's what it indicates, is that you need to go through that door. And so instead of trapping players in there... It gives you a an escape route. Oop. I forget when I activate that to face myself going the right way. I don't know how much I'm digging these tracks over here. There we go, we'll skip that and see what happens here. Ice, ice, baby. I don't know. I've, 
I may be incorrect, but I feel like that has one of the greatest utilities of any of the moves, because not only do you slow the enemies down, but it compounds damage over time. I'm gonna see if over there there's any secrets that I can get from blowing stuff up. That'd be nice. I think I might get some turkey here in a sec. The wizard is famished! This feels like it could be a place that I could want to explode. Oh, it is! It is a secret kind of room. We like those rooms. Take this, turkey and gold. Oh, these guys are the worst. Not really. There are many things worse than these guys. Yeah, so my other conundrum is when or do I want to get any, um, oh, I guess I'll have to go back out there. Um, but do I upgrade my um, spells to a different spell book? Because, you know what, I've grown quite accustomed to the ones that I have now. And that would allow me, I don't know, there's some good area effects for the others, but they're more of a, um, I don't know. It's just hard to hard to balance the the like familiarity with something um, versus getting something totally new and different. Um, the learning curve on that. I'm not saying that I wouldn't do it if you know it were something to. Oh, my Becca's home. Hello, Becca. What was that? Okay. Bye. Yeah. She's here. She's gone. We'll check in with her in a little bit after this level. Oh no, I wanted to go over here. I don't know if I like this song so much either. Doesn't really feel like Skrillex. So let's see if we're going to slow everybody down over here. Now we're going to ice him. Yes, it was fairly easy. Oh my, no thank you. You music? That is just a little bit, just a little bit too explicit. I should have used some potions. That might be something I'd be willing to upgrade, but I, again, I don't know if the cost-benefit analysis necessarily um, makes that a good choice because the um your own website then you need get out of here com, the number one way to ship orders to your customers with shipstation import manage and ship potion costs so much and could i use that to buy new spell books or should i use that to um to upgrade my little images uh my little e attack down here is that a better use of those funds because um, upgrading them could be helpful because right now I have three wizards which basically equates to four wizards all doing fireball at the same time versus um, just one here's where we were doing some cheapo attacks from above earlier Well, 
there we go. There is um, Gauntlet, the first level. Didn't die. Got some uh, some coins there. That was pretty cool. Thanks for watching and my my test of my streaming. There we go. The wizard is here.